All right, <clears throat> I'm gonna make this video. Um, this is for anybody in like the instrumentation field, maybe like new people, um, uh, noobs or whatever you have it, inexperienced people in the instrumentation or um, electrical field, um, which I consider myself to be rather novice. Uh, worked on cars my whole life but and diagnostics and stuff but never really in instrumentation and whatever but um, concepts are simple I went to school for electronics and stuff like that but anyways uh, getting down to the meat and potatoes I um, this is for to prevent you from beating your head into the wall any further um, this is a safety relay this is by Omron um, this is the STI SR101A01, which is a 24 volt model. Um, does pass through up to 250 volts. So again, this is powered 24 volts. All right. So we're gonna get to the to the beans and bread here in a little bit, but um, I'm gonna show you how this works um, first, because this is for anybody that had the experience like I did, and let me. Um, show you the schematic first. <clears throat> the biggest problem with this relay is there's two schematics. You can find one on their industrial site and you can find another one somewhere else, but this gives you the basics of it, okay? So, uh, you got, well, let's go to the simpler one here. There we go. A1 and A2 are 24 volt powered, no big deal. Um, and there's S11 and S21, okay? And then these are your outputs. Uh, double latching logic outputs. Okay. Anyways, so S11 and S21 are your start. All right, and your A1 and A2, <laughs> those are your circuit. Um, the thing that I ran into was I've never dealt with a safety relay, and I was thrown a safety device that had OSSD outputs and I was throwing this relay and I was like, something's not right. And I'll show you how it works in a minute. Um, to some people it's really simple, but again, this is for inexperienced people that are, can't get this to work with a safety device. And in case you want to save yourself some time, this does not work with an OSSD safety device. Just letting you know. Okay. All right. Um, and I'll tell you why, but let me, let me grab the device and I'll, I'll show you. Okay. So this is my safety device. Um, this is a pretty expensive, um, basically it's a motion sensor, uh, but it has adjustable fields. We won't get into this. That's not what it's for, but this is a safety device, high end, uh, it's a Keyens. Um, this basically has detection. You get your hand too close to something within 300 meters. You can set stuff up for not 300, 30 meters. Um, and it trips OSSD signals. So they're either normally on, normally off or if you want to say negative or positive, depends how you're wiring it. It's all programmable, anyways. So, we're gonna wire this up and I'm gonna show you how it works independently and why it doesn't work with this, okay? Okay, so right now, <clears throat> I have 24 volts, ding dong, going to A1 and A2. Nothing's happening, right? No big deal. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm going to find a jumper wire somewhere Hold on. well all right so on. I'm gonna find a jumper wire and we're gonna jump a1 to s21 and we'll explain why that does that you don't already know okay so it closed both both relays so right now we are good to go there's nothing on here that will shut those relays until, or open those relays um, until you kill power, okay? So, nothing. Nothing makes this work except for killing power. All right, so we're gonna kill the power. Both relays close, or open, sorry. They're normally open relays. Turn it back on, nothing happens. So we'll show you what we're gonna do next time. So this is, this hookup's very crude. I'm just showing it for display and it's really, really crummy. So anyways, what we've done 
is we went from S11 to S21. S21 is our logic. Our start. It starts the logic to close the relays. Okay, so it means it's good. Alright, so S11 is our output. <clears throat> what that's for in, in basics, uh, in, in, in basic understanding, if you have a PLC that monitors a safety relay, okay, that monitors a safety device, S11 lets it know that, hey, I'm okay, and I'm doing what I'm told, okay? So, if this device is on, S11 is on, and it tells the device, the safety device, or the safety PLC that my safety relay is working, okay, that's all it's for. All right, but we can use that output to do an auto restart. All right, like right here. So if you're okay, if you have a gate, like a safety gate, you can use S11 to S12 to start this relay, okay? Um, so what we're gonna do is turn on the power supply and we're latched. All right, so that's how that works. But there's nothing that'll kill this except for losing power. Okay. <clears throat> so, basically what you would do is hook A1 up to, um, now this is a 24 volt model, so you'd have to hook it up to, you know, a 24 volt system. And these, to get these to work with a safety PLC, whatever power supply you're using, um, the isolated 24 volt power supply to power the PLC, A2, has to be on the same zero volt or same ground, whatever you want to call it. Uh, same zero volt, okay? Has to be on the same power circuit. It won't work by itself, all right? So um, that 24 volt should be isolated from anything else, um, you know, uh, relays, anything. So your PLC and your safety stuff should all be on the same zero volt, 24 volt. Um, <clears throat> but Anyways, that's how this works. So that's an automatic start. In theory, what you would do is if somebody were to hit the e-stop, then this would shut off. And then what you're supposed to do is have a reset button. Now, if you had the reset button, that would be 24 volt on the same circuit. We go to S21. So there's a conscious effort. Am I okay to hit reset? I'm not sure. Okay. So you're going to go out and look and do your thing and hit reset and it'll close the relays. Are we good to go? Yeah, no, I don't know. Um, the only thing that I question is um, in theory. So this is only theory. We use safety relays because it's illegal to use regular relays even though you can create a safety relay circuit with regular relays. Anyways, um, if uh, the biggest premise is that these contacts don't weld together and this is self-monitoring this does like self tests and all that stuff you'd have to read into it I, I don't have time for that but um, anyways um, this is basically for mechanical e-stops um, or or gates or whatever something non-contact or contact um, and then that's how it works but in my my case what I would think is in the event of an e-stop button, it's normally closed all the time, and you push it and it normally opens it, but what if something there were to fail? You know, that's my only thought with e-stop buttons and all that, so. Um, they might be, um, yeah, there might be some other configurations of their PLC to figure that out, I'm not sure. So, but at any rate, if you're, uh, if your boss or somebody threw you one of these in a safety device that has OSSD, this isn't going to work. I'm just telling you that. I made this video just for that because I was throwing this in a safety device and literally banging my head against the wall and I was trying to fit a block in a circle or a peg hole whatever. Um, I mean, it was plain as day to see how they worked, but I was like, how's this gonna work my device? So I called out the manufacturers of everything I used and 
they basically said like we can't tell you it's not compatible we can tell you nobody's had luck with it I was like okay so you know that's it but um I hope this helps somebody out there because I looked everywhere for myself all over the freaking internet and I couldn't find anything specific on this one or safety relays and OSSD or anything but you know this is one of those bottom barrel bare bones I'm an idiot kind of videos so hopefully if you saw this it helped out all right one Thanks. more side note <clears throat> one more side note this is the one that actually works okay this is an example of one there's many 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 more um, this is an Allen Bradley guard mate okay um, the manual is impossible to understand uh, to a point but this one has logic in it for OSSD and it works and it does the same thing you latch um, two different wires for automatic restart if you want it has the same features as this one but it adds some so this one's configurable for OSSD so uh, this one is the GSRDI safety guard mate uh, there's a catalog number so this one actually works until you give it to somebody that can't read it in schematic pardon my French fried like chicken all right